this morning. Uh, we just have a statement on behalf of the Township Committee uh, that I would like to read for you all. Okay, as mayor of Moffell Township, along with our Township Committee members, our deputy, uh, our, our uh, assistant mayor, uh, Richard Cook, we have uh, Richard Conklin, uh, committee woman, June Witte, and committeeman, Dr. Kane, uh, all probably live on this Facebook with us as well today too, and they are doing their part staying home. So, and, and self quarantine. And after today, I hope all of you guys get the message and you all stay quarantined in your home. Keep your kids in your home. Let me read you this update. As Mottville Township, as Mayor Mottville Township, along with Mottville Township committee members, our most important responsibility, and may I add, one that we take extremely serious, is the health, safety, and well being of every citizen of the Mottville Township. Our community has many, many great people. All who live and work here are an integral part of our community. <clears throat> Having noted that, we at the township have been working very hard over the last few weeks since the initial outbreak of the coronavirus 2019 to today's pandemic situation. And as you may not, or you may know, as of yesterday, May 26, 2020, the United States has a dubious distinction of being the country with the most presumed positive cases in the entire world. On a positive note, we do not have the most deaths, but that's, that can unquestionably change. Additionally, our state in New Jersey with the highest population density in the United States, unfortunately, has the second highest number of presumed COVID cases in the nation, 6,876 and 81 deaths. Here in Mottville Township, as of today, we have, we have 16 presume, presumed positive cases and thankfully no deaths. The crush of the coronavirus in the tri-state area is something that all of us must take as a life or death situation. And if you think that it can't happen to you, even when you take precautionary measures, such as I did, I could assure you it can. I am living proof of that. Which leads me to point, the Mottville Township first responders, local enforcement officers, staff, and health office officer, public health nurse staff has been working around the clock to protect and serve our community citizens. Over the course of this pandemic outbreak, we have taken certain measures and we certainly believe we are in the best interest of our residents by closing down all parks, playgrounds, buildings, and facilities. However, this is where I want need you to really listen. We have received numerous complaints of our residents, young and old, outright disregarding these protective measures. Please understand that our staff is working very, very hard to assist those in need. And we cannot afford to take time away from our first responders essential duties to address those few residents who are violating, who are violating the rules, therefore putting others within our community and themselves at risk. The following information has been frequently disseminated and shared by our health officer, Amy Peluso, to maintain social distancing, to frequently wash hands, practice good respiratory etiquette by coughing and sneezing into elbows, avoid ill persons, stay home as much as possible, and monitor yourself daily for symptoms, fever, cough, difficulty breathing. In closing, we all understand that these are challenging times for us all, but they are absolutely essential. Although the elderly and the chronically ill are most affected by COVID-19, members of our community of all different ages, all different ages, even locally in township, are being affected. And some are battling for their lives. By following our safety guidelines, we will get through this together. Please remember, we all have to do our part, big or small. I can't stress to you guys all enough. Please stay home, stay, stay quarantined, only go out 
if it's an emergency or if you have to go, obviously go to one of the places of businesses that are still open, Marvel Township is understanding and supportive of our local businesses. And I would like to give you the opportunity, if you are a business in our community that is open, one of the approved that are opened, please reach out to us on our Township Facebook page or our Township email, email Jennifer Dixon. Um, please email her the hours and the services that you have available, and we will make sure that Marvel Tap keeps our list updated. We need to protect our businesses as much as we need to protect our residents. Thank you all for tuning in uh, this morning, and I hope everybody gets the message because yesterday was un un unacceptable. We had so many people out walking through our communities, maintaining social distancing, which is fine. If you're maintaining social distancing, you're walking down the street, that's fine. But when you're congregating at our parks, when you have 20 kids in the middle of, say, Connor Ave, hanging out, people having basketball games, people having football games, it's unacceptable. We can't, we can't do this to our first responders. We can't tie them up. Please, parents, send this message home to them. Please stay inside. Thank you very much, and we will be in touch. Have a great day.